Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage Roku TV power settings. That's right, your Roku TV has power settings. Me and my friend were talking about this, about power settings on our computer, and I went, wait a minute, does my Roku TV have a power settings? And they do, and I'm going to show you how to um, manage those in this video. I've done a lot of Roku TV um videos and i'll put the links down below so you can check them out but i wanted to get back on this subject because it's been a while and tell you something new on your roku tv so before we get going hit the like on this video it really helps out our channel also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos we come out with every thursday so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do obviously is turn on your roku tv or your device and i've already done that looking to the left menu we want to go and find settings you can go down or you just from home you can go straight up settings is real quick to get to so you're going to select settings by hitting the ok on your remote and then once you do that we're going to look for the next setting which should say system and we're looking for system on the left menu and you go down to system i guess we could have gone up but i went down this time you're going to select that with the ok on your remote click on that and then what we're going to do is we're looking for power which is pretty pretty obvious we're going to click on power and select that hit ok on your remote and now here are the power settings so you have power on home screen when it turns on it turns the home screen you can change that if you want you have auto power savings standby lead now led so we're actually focused on the power savings and that's what we're going to pick right now so you're going to select power auto power saving when you select that you have two choices here and the two choices is first one is reduce power after 15 minutes select to allow the tv to reduce power when there is no signal and no interaction after 15 minutes which is great you can select that one and it'll do that so it tells you what it's doing i'm going to unselect you can select more than one there's only two options the one i like the most is this one because my kids like to leave my tv on all the time which is, I mean, they don't shut it off. They turn it on, they run out of the house. Any parent will know this feeling of it being on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that and it says automatically turn the TV off after four hours of no interaction. This does not apply when you're watching live TV or videos, which is very cool. I'm not gonna say the second part because I'm not talking about a fast TV start. We're just doing this main part to save some power. So if you wanna save some your TV from sucking more power, your Roku device sucking, more power than it needs. These are two great options you can use, especially as parents. Trust me, kids like to leave things on forever and turn off after four hours really saved me some money. So we're also looking, and you can reduce after power after 15 minutes. I don't do that one because I have a big family. We go back and forth with the TV. I don't think that would actually be helpful to me, but it might help you. So that is how to manage the Roku TV power savings settings. Now there is um, other Roku TV um, videos I've done. I have the links down below for you, so make sure you check them out. Um, and also I'll put some other links down there for you guys to give you some new stuff to check out. But that's how easy it is to manage your Roku TV power saving, sa saving settings. If I can say it, we'll say it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to check out daveScomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.